so um, lucid again and how fitting, I guess, it happened the way it happened. So today, um, my, uh, my off days, I felt like I had to do something constructive, so I was out at Best Buy trying to get a new stereo, it was too long of a wait, but after convincing myself that not only did I not need, but could not afford any video games, um, which I could just waste hours on anyway, rather than reading, I went I headed home, decided I'd stop at the library, downtown public library, and I looked for um, some books on lucid dreaming, um, specifically by Stephen LaBerge, and some books on meditation. They didn't have the ones from LaBerge, um, so I just got the meditation books, and I decided I'd stop at um, Barnes & Noble, got the book, came home, only read like two, three pages took a nap, um, and, uh, had a dream, based on a really real fear that I have about, uh, my, uh, two falling out, one, I think, because I'm just kind of weird, and two, because I have a cavity, and no dental coverage, and I'm just kind of waiting, I don't know what I'm going to do, uh, so I, uh, in the dream, I'm looking in the mirror, and the tooth, one of these, I don't know what they're called, molars, premolars, um, it's, I don't know, it's loose, cracking, and whatever I can tell, so I'm kind of messing with it, and this whole, like, front part of the tooth comes off, and I'm just, like, freaking out, um, and I, uh, I think at this point I ran downstairs to my mother, who wouldn't have been there, because I don't live with her, but whatever, I was at that house or she was at my house and um I'm freaking out and I'm telling her like my tooth fell out but on the way down like I'm feeling it I'm feeling it I'm like oh my god I think the whole tooth is gonna come out and eventually that whole tooth came out and I'm like it's in my hand by the time I'm down there and I'm telling her this and it's just weird and it's freaking out because I can feel this blank spot in my mouth and um, I'm just like mumbling at that point, at that point, and, like almost crying, like mama, like my tooth, my tooth is falling out. So I, uh, I tried to show it to her, but I don't. I think she was kind of like, um, not that she was, she was paying attention, but she was like, I get maybe kind of a disbelief, like no, your tooth didn't fall out. Like let me see, like what is it? What did I like? What is that? Is that the whole tooth? Is it a chip? Whatever. But I don't spend much time down there trying to show her, and I run back upstairs to look in the mirror. Um, but as I'm looking in the mirror again, ah, oh man, I wish I could remember the thought process more, more in detail, because when I first woke up, I could, I don't know if it just seemed unrealistic that, that happened or what, but something triggered me to think this is not real, this might be a dream, and since I'm already in the mirror, what comes to mind is how you know, I've heard so many people say, well, when you look in the mirror in a dream, it, um, it won't, something about it will be kind of weird. So I'm looking and I'm like, well, I look pretty normal. It looks like me. But I looked at my arms and I had, um, two, ta I have just this one tattoo, but I had like two of them and I think it was even some of my shoulders and I think I was like bigger than I really am. And something was kind of mean looking about my face, but that so that set me off a little like uh, but I keep looking, I keep looking, and I'm looking at my teeth. I'm really close in the mirror. I'm looking at my teeth, and I'm like, my teeth are kind of stained. And what was weird is that as much as I was trying to figure out if this was a dream, I was thinking about well, how can I remove these stains at the same time, <laughs> which I actually don't have. And, well, I do have a hole. I'm proud. I don't have any stains. Um, so I. Uh, I'm, a, I'm eventually I'm convinced that it's a dream. Um, I'm a little uh, surprised at how real I look. I don't feel like I look strange or weird or blurry or anything like that. I know in retrospect, I mean, I, I kind of did. I mean, my some of our face looked weird and kind of evil and maybe morphed a little bit, but just slightly, not enough for me to really perceive, at least not for me to perceive in that dream state. Um, so I, uh, alright, I'm like, well, I, what do I do? What do I do now? 
And I'm like, well, I don't want to be too drastic and end up waking myself up. So I'm like, well, I'm just going to leave the room and kind of explore. Now, that's not really all that happens. Um, going through kind of a, <coughs> uh, I don't know, horny phase right now. So I guess I decided I was going to look for some women. Um, but I'm like, I'm not going to just try to make anybody appear, you know. So I'm just going to walk around. And so I'm walking around in a building, big building, kind of remind me of the library that I was just at earlier. Um, I'm walking down this hallway, don't, didn't really see any people. Stepped into a big room, there was like a man and a woman in there. I don't know if they were yoga or ballet or something. So I walk in and I'm looking at it, like, yeah, examining people. I don't know, this is really carnal of me, I know. And I don't know, maybe that's why this dream wasn't as successful as it could have been. But look, I'm going to own that behavior because I guess that's where I am right now. So I went further down this hallway. I passed a girl um, I know from school. Um, just kind of said hi. And as I was walking by, I'm like, oh, I should have gave her a hug. I don't know. But anyway, so I come to another intersection in the hallway. And that, just, that ends it. Um, but see, this time, it's like I slowly began to wake up. And I was moving my arm, and I'm like, oh, damn, I'm moving my arm. I think, what is this? I think I'm awake now. Um, and I was laying kind of like this, and I'm like, man, I was probably uncomfortable because of that arm, and that woke me up. So I'm like, I need to try to sleep on my back side or in some more comfortable position so that I don't end up, you know, waking up because of some body movement because of discomfort. Cause I'm thinking maybe that's what happened. I'm like, man, for the, so for one time I feel like I was calm. I didn't excite myself and wake myself up, but the way I was physically positioned, I think, caused me to wake up. But um, it was really interesting just to see, to look at, looking in the mirror, and it, it seemed at the time at least really vivid. Um, and I stayed calm, and I was just gonna, you know, look around my environment and try to find something to do. <coughs> so, uh, another good uh, dream experience. It's been a while, really. I haven't been into it as much, I guess. I mean, I was like religious with it those first three, four weeks. Um, so I'm trying to get back into it more. Uh, I don't know if it was coincidence or <laughs> I was just in that mind state reading that book. The LaBerge book and the meditation book I looked at really quickly before that nap. Um, but uh, I have been making dream journals on my own. I just don't post them because I don't think they're really necessary or interesting to other people. But this, I guess, is interesting. Honestly, this may not be interesting either, but I don't care. Uh, I think it, I mean, it's part of this progression of videos that I'm posting. If I really want to post something completely different, something more kind of social commentary, but I've just been hesitating, not having time, not knowing exactly what I want to talk about, but hopefully that'll be soon. Um, I want to be a, you know, a uh, YouTube regular, you know, um, maybe even develops, you know, you know, have some dialogue with different, different people on here. That would be really nice, I think. But, for now, just more on dreams. Um, maybe even meditation later. But, um, good experience. Um, and thanks for the replies from people who have been watching the couple videos I do have. And, uh,